Hello students, you're welcome to Hedo Math Hub. In today's video, I'll be teaching you guys longitude and latitude for your jam, right and neko. Okay, so this is a very important topic. It always comes out in your mathematics exam. So this is longitude and latitude. I'm going to be teaching you this topic. So stick to the end of the video because you start to gain a lot of things. Okay, so let's take it like this. Now, we're going to start with the shape of the earth. The shape of the earth. The shape of the earth is a geode. Okay, it's a geode. Okay, that is shape of the head. It's kind of it's kind of spherical. Okay, it is flattened at the top. It's a bit flat at the top here. That's at the north pole and at the south pole. It's basically just like um, the shape of an orange. So now before you can understand this topic, you need to know about the four cardinal points. So there are four cardinal points. You have the north at the top, south at the bottom part, you have east on the right hand, and west on the left. So take notes. North is at the top, south is at the bottom part, east is on the left hand side, sorry, the right hand side, then the, the left hand side is where you have the west. Okay, so east to west, take note of that. Now, there is a line that runs from the north to the south pole. Okay, that's the polar axis. Okay, it runs from the north to the south pole, it's a vertical line. Okay, that divides the earth into the left hemisphere and the right hemisphere. So we have left and right like this. Okay, this is basic geography. So, but you don't need to go much into that. Just know that there's a line that runs from north to south. Okay, then there's a line that runs from east to west or west to east horizontally like this. So, this line is called the equator. Okay, but it's always shown in your diagram as a curved line like this. As a curved line like this. So, this equator has um, the degree is zero. Okay, now. Before you can try to get the location of points, okay, of points on the Earth's surface, you need to know what's called longitude and latitude. Okay, so I'm going to be starting with latitude. Now, latitude are just lines. These are lines that run from east to west. Okay, or you can say they run from west to east. That's just the basic um, definition. They run from east to west or west to east. Okay, and the highest value of latitude that you can have is 90 degrees. The lowest value of latitude that you can have is zero degrees. So this zero degrees, this latitude that has an angle of zero degrees is called the equator. Okay, so the equator is a latitude, but the angle of the equator is zero degrees. Then the highest value of latitude is 90 degrees. Now take note of something very, very important. Latitudes measure angles from north to south. Those are the measure angles. They measure angles from north to south, or you can say south to north. Whichever one you like. Now, latitude will come um, in form of a numerical value. That's a number. Then, at the side of the number, you're going to have north or south. Take note of that. Latitude always comes with north or south. So, when it's something like 90 degrees south or 90 degrees north, 70 degrees south, 75 degrees north, or you see something like 33 degrees north, 42 degrees south, all these stuffs here, all these numbers are latitudes. They run from east to west. Now, let me teach you how to draw any latitude. It's very simple. Now, look how to draw the latitude, any latitude. So, the first thing to know that this is North Pole. This is South Pole. 90 degrees at the top here. 90 degrees here. Why? Um, 90 degrees also here. So, latitude, the latitudes move from 0 to 90. So, they move upwards. They measure angles upward. But their direction is from East to West. Take note of that. Their direction is from East to to west, but they measure angles in this day as in vertically and, and, and um, as in top and down. Those are the measure angles. Now, let's take an example. This is zero degree here, which is the equator. Okay, now from this zero degree, if you want to do another angle, it goes like this down here and it goes like this, like that, it goes like this. Let's add this U shape. Okay, let's add this U shape. So this is zero degree. This is 90 degrees south at the bottom part here. So, 0, 90 degrees south. So, it's increasing downwards like this. When you're coming towards the south, it's increasing downwards. So, you have 0 degree, maybe 20 degree, 30 degree, 40 degree, 50 degree, until you get to 90 degree. 90 degree is the highest, 90 degrees south is the highest latitude that you can have in the southern part or the southern hemisphere. Now, if you're going upper, if you're going to the top part, you're going up, this is 0 degree. The highest you can have here is 90 degree north so you are going up like this so if you are going up like this you are going to have zero degree at the equator 
then maybe get like maybe one two maybe 30 degree 40 degree 50 degree 60 degree so it's increasing upwards like this until you get to 90 degree knot so take for example let's assume you want to draw the latitude you want to draw latitude 45 degree knot let's assume you want to draw that it's very simple you start with a basic shape which is a circle you divide the circle to four equal parts so you draw this one down like this you draw this line down like this and you draw this one like this okay now after doing those two things you label the the coordinates so you have the polar um directions so you have north south you have east in this direction then you have west here and after that you get your equator the equator is a line that goes like this so it will be a curved line like this then you label it zero degrees then you put a dotted line at the back to show you that this is a line that also runs at the back of this shape. But because you cannot see that particular line, it has to be dotted. This line is at the back of this. Imagine this thing to be an orange and you are tying a rope in front of the orange. You know, the rope in front of your eyes, you will be able to see that part, which is this line here. You can see this part. But the rope at the back of the orange, you cannot see that part. That's why it is dotted like this. So that is the equator. Okay? So this is about the equator. Then when you have done this, then you can start answering the question. So this is like the big skeleton that you must do for every question that comes on latitude and longitude. So after doing this, let's now draw 45 degree knots. So 45 degree knots will come from here. Just you have you have the northern part, so just up here, above here. So just draw a line just like this. Once you draw that line, you join the middle like this, then you dot the back, just like you did for the equator. You label the line 45 degree knots. Simple as that. Okay, once you've done that, that means you've gotten the position of the latitude. Then we want to go like 70 degrees south, for example, that will be down here. Then this this is 70 degrees south. Then you can join here and dot it like this. So that's how you do um locating um any latitude is very very simple let's take another example from here let's assume i want to do 42 degrees south you start with a normal um, shape like this circle so you draw your cardinal points like this so you have your north south you have your east and you have your west so then you put your 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 equator so you join here like this dot the back don't forget it's very important then you label it zero degrees these are the things that why we check or neko or whatever we check when they're marking your paper so after this you make only for 42 degrees south so south is at the bottom part so for two degrees south you just be down here like this just go like this here then you, you dot here you join here rather you dot the back then you label the angle 42 degrees south so take note, all latitudes have this shape. All latitudes, they have this shape. They're always like this. No matter if they're, where they're north or south, they're always like this. All latitudes have this shape. Okay, all latitudes have this shape. Just like this U kind of shape. Okay, so I hope you understand this particular part based on latitudes, okay? Now let's, let me take one last example. Let me draw 75 degree north. 75 degree north. And maybe, let me draw maybe 80 degree um, north too. So this is how you draw it in the same diagram. So the first thing you have a circle. So you draw your circle, divide to four equal parts like this. So you label north, south, then you label east and west. So after this you can now draw your equator, dot this part, then you are doing 80. Don't forget it's increasing upwards. Like this is zero here. This is zero. So it's increasing vertically. So you will see 75 first before you see 80. Because 90 is at this place here. So it's increasing like this. So that means you will see 75 before you see 80. So let's do 75 first. Just come down here and do something like this. So this will be 75 degree north. Then at the top here, don't put it on down. That's to get the top because it's increasing upwards. So this one will be 80 degree knots. Then you join here and dot the back. 
Let's go back. So that's about latitudes. It's very very simple. They always have this shape. This is the shape they always have. They move from east to west, but they measure angles vertically or horizontally from the equator to the top. That's zero to ninety, then zero to ninety downwards. I hope you 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 understand this part. Okay, so let's move to the second part, which is um, longitudes. So you come back to the second part of the video. If you're just joining us, please like and subscribe to the channel. Then we are moving on to longitudes now. So longitudes are lines that run from the North Pole to the South Pole. Okay, so you can see an example here. You can see an example right here. They run from the North to the South Pole. That's how they move. But they measure angles in this direction, either like this or like this. Those are the measure angles. The major angles from as in east, eastwards or westwards. So the highest longitudes that you can that you can have is one eighty degrees. The lowest is zero degrees. So zero degrees is this vertical line here, which is the polar axis. This vertical line here is zero degrees. So it's increasing like this, as in it's increasing like zero. 10, 20, 30, 40, and so on. So this line here is 180 degrees. Then this one is 0, 10, 20, 30, 40, and you understand. So this one is 180 degrees. This is 180 degrees. So it is increasing in this direction. Like this. It's increasing like this and like this. Okay, so take note of that. The highest you can have is 180, lowest is 0 degrees. And they move from north to south, that's from top to bottom. Very important. And these numbers here, as you can see, they are examples of longitudes. Longitudes you always have east or west beside a, an angular value. Okay, so you have 75 degrees, then you see something like west or east beside it. Once you see anything like that, that is what you call a, long, a longitude. But if it's north or south, you call it latitude. So 75 degree west is a longitude. 35 degree west is a longitude. Okay, and they're very, very easy to draw. Very easy to draw. So, let's take an example. Let's draw 75 degree west. So, to draw 75 degree west, first of all, do a basic scaling Draw a circle, divide to four equal parts, like what we have here. Circle, four equal parts. Then you label it north, south, east, west. You label your equator, which is zero degrees. Don't forget that. Very important. Then, you want to get 75 degree west. Now, since it's on the left-hand side, that's west is on this direct, it's in this direction. So the shape of the lat line longitude will bend like this. Okay, if it's in the west, and if it's in the east, it will bend in this direction. Okay, so don't forget that if it's in the west, it will bend like this. In the east, it will bend like this. So this one is for west. This one is for east. Now our number here is 75 degree west. Since it's in the west, it's going to bend in this form. Okay, but it's going to move from north to south, so we just do something like this. Move down like this. Move it at the south pole. Then you label it 75 degree west. Always label it. If you label it, your mark will be subtracted. Okay, so this is 75 degree west. Let us do 33 degree east in this same diagram. So this is 33 degree east here. Yeah? So east is on the right hand side, so it's going to bend in this form here. Yeah? From north to south, so you have something like this. Then you label it 33 degree east. Okay, so you can see it's very simple. So longitudes move from north to south and they bend depending on the direction. If it's on the west, it will be like this, on the east, it will be like this. Then, if you want to draw two or three um, longitudes in the same direction, in the same diagram, you have to very um, I'm careful because don't forget that it increases in this direction and increases like this. So let me draw, let us draw 33 degree east and 35 degree east in the same diagram. So the first thing, you draw your basic skeleton, you draw your equator, you dot the back, you label it zero degrees, you label your coordinates, your polar your axis, your four cardinal points, now after doing that, let's draw the first one first. This is zero, so it's increasing like this in this direction. So let's draw 33 first. So you draw it down like this. So you label it. This is 33 degree east. Now to do 35, don't draw it in front of it like this because that is increasing like this. So 35 will be at the back. 
So this will be 35 degree east. Because it's increasing in this direction, like this. So I hope you understand now. Okay. So to get the location of any point, it is where the longitude and latitude meet. Okay, where the longitude and latitude intersect. That is the location of that point will be the exact place. Okay. So to get any point, maybe Lagos, any country, whatever location you have, if you want to locate yourself, you just have to know the longitude and latitude. So where the two of them meet each other, where they meet, where the two of them meet each other is that is where you are actually located. Okay, that is your location. So, so in the next part of the video, I'm teaching you guys how to locate any particular points on the Earth's surface. So, keep it up. I'll be right back.